en el Vaticano y verlas con el... The woman you are watching is Buscarita Roa. She is one of Argentina's grandmothers of Plaza de Mayo. Here goes the story of those grandmothers that has reached the leader of the world's 1.2 billion Catholics. Their sons and daughters were kidnapped, tortured, killed and disappeared by Argentina's brutal 1976-1983 civil military dictatorship. Their grandchildren were abducted also by the security forces, many of them were born in detention centers. Desperate to find them, the grandmothers of Plaza de Mayo came together 36 years ago. 108 grandchildren have recovered their identities since then, thanks to their struggle. The grandmothers say they are against the complicity of the Catholic Church during those dark years and indifference of ex-Argentine Cardinal Jorge Mario Bergoglio. Señor Bergoglio en la dictadura. Mr. Bergoglio during the dictatorship practically ignored us. He was indifferent. I cannot say that he was an accomplice or that he personally intervened in all that was going on here, but he surely knew about it. It. His position did not serve us much. He did not help us. That is what must be said. Not him directly, but the Catholic Church leadership was an accomplice of the dictatorship. Bucarita is the mother of Jose Poblete, kidnapped in December 1978. His name has joined the list of the 30,000 whose bodies remain disappeared. Together with the president of the human rights organization, Estela de Carlotto, she traveled to Rome back in April to request a pontiff's intervention to help open Vatican and Catholic Church archives. The role of Catholic leadership has been in fact denounced by ruling party lawmakers, social and political groups for many years. The issue of human rights belongs to Argentina's recent past and remains open. There are still lots of questions, needs of memory and justice surrounding those who committed crimes against humanity. And obviously, Argentina's Catholic Church, its leadership, was an accomplice. Bucarita tells Press TV that the grandmothers are sure that the Catholic Church must know something about the 400 grandchildren they are still looking for. With such conviction, they delivered a letter to the Pope. As little as it may be, any piece of information will help us, the letter reads. Ahora, seguramente, now that he is the Pope in the Vatican, he might be able to do something with the document we took there so that he can investigate and maybe we might be able to know something. Despite controversy over Bergoglio's role during Argentina's dark period, the Vatican has officially denied such allegations. Speaking on behalf of the pontiff, Vatican said earlier that Pope Francis shared the pain of many mothers in that moment of Argentine history. Amid expectations but also doubts about the position the Church will take over their request, the grandmothers of Plaza de Mayo say they have knocked at the Vatican's doors, demanding the Catholic leadership to uphold Christian duties and help them find their missing ones. Constanza Heller, Press TV, Buenos Aires.